Hey everyone, it's Gardener Sydney and today I am back in the Morse School Garden. So we're gonna check on this running log and some other things in the garden and just see what's going on. First things first, let's head to our favorite spot. Our rotting log and our compost. So let's go look at our compost first. So as you can see here, our compost is closed for the season. What this means is we're not gonna put anything new in and I put a layer of plant matter on top so we can protect everything that is composting and changing in our bin over winter. But let's check out our log. Just looking at the top here, do you notice anything different? Anything new? Wondering what this is? It looks pretty cool, kind of white and webby, and then there's this yellow stuff. There's another patch of it over here. And a lot of the log appears to be missing from this side. We've gotten a lot of rain lately, so the wood is very squishy even. It's pretty wet. All right, let's flip it over. Do you see anything under here? I see that first. I'm not sure what that is. Do you have any guesses? Okay, so I flipped the log all the way over and I see a lot of interesting things here. I see this white stuff that to me almost looks like frost or webbing. Let me feel it. Oh, it doesn't really feel like much and it kind of wears away when I touch it. Looking right next to that, what do you see here? I see we still have some pill bugs or roly polies. Then we have these big circles. Do you have an idea of what those could be? They're very round. They look pretty clear. Let's look at another. Awesome. I see some more. And up here, we have some worms or I guess one worm doing their business. So at this log, in five minutes of looking at it, we found a worm, some pill bugs, some round mystery things. We just saw a black bug scurrying along and what looked like a millipede or centipede earlier. There is so much living in and around this log. But I want you to think about how this log has changed. As always, when we're done looking, I wanna roll the log back to where it was sitting originally. So now that we have been watching our rotting log for a while, I've noticed that usually around our rotting logs or in the rotting log, we see worms. So I'm wondering how worms change a rotting log or do worms change a rotting log? Do they change the way a rotting log decomposes? So I have an idea for a little experiment we can do, and we'll see what worms are doing in and around our rotting log. Okay, so I wanna understand how worms change the way that things decompose. So I wanna set up a little experiment. Here I have all of my supplies. I have two leaves of collard greens that are pretty much the same size, two strawberries, two brown napkins, and two Ziploc bags. I'm gonna put one of each of my materials in a Ziploc bag, but to one of them, I'm gonna add three red worms, and the other one I'm gonna leave without worms. And we'll check on them and see how they do, how they change, if they're different. So I'm gonna set them up now. I have both of my bags set up, but they don't have worms in them yet because I want to do a few more things. So worms are living things. So I wanna be sure that they have the things that living things need. I wanna give them water and air. And I think this should be enough food for them. So I'm gonna spray each bag twice with water and poke air holes in it. All right, so now I wanna put my worms in. I had said we were gonna do three worms, but now looking at how small these worms are, I think we're gonna do six. So I'm gonna double it. So I'm gonna grab some worms and put them in our bag. So this bag's gonna be our worm bag. 
there's a worm. Really gentle. So here is our worm bag. I'm gonna write on the label that this is a worm bag so that we know. We are going to keep checking on those bags to see if they're different as time passes, to see if our worms are doing anything. So I'll send photos and video updates so we can see what's going on. Bye friends. Thank you.